hello everyone welcome to the next video of Cisco packet tracer series guys in this video I'll be talking about hub the first networking device that we got in packet tracer so uh, you can see now in front of you I've already have written some of the features of hub right first of all we'll be going through the features and then we'll be seeing the things in a practical mode right first thing I mentioned here is like hub works at first layer of OSI model hub which is also known as network hub guys it works at a physical layer the first layer of OSI model right hub always broadcast packets this is the like a drawback of hub that let's suppose if the hub is accepting the uh, packet at one port then it will be sending to the other ports as well right let's suppose if a hub is consisting of 10 ports and it is receiving data at the first port the remaining nine ports also will be getting the data right third thing is hub doesn't have a memory like it, it it's not an intelligent device that's why we often say it's not an intelligent device because it doesn't think right uh, so it's not like a switch which which have a thinking power so so that's the reason like whatever the data is it's receiving at one port it will be forwarding to the other ports as well next point is uh, it is good for smaller networks right and it is uh, quite cheaper than switch this is the plus point of hub then hub has got multiple ports like uh, we can connect multiple PCs if you want to set up a local area network. So hub is a good device to have. So this is the uh, like some of the features which I have listed. Now let's see the things in, in, a, in a practical mode that whether whatever I'm saying is it right or wrong. I need to prove this thing that whether hub is broadcasting data or broadcasting the packets or not. For this guys uh, we need to click on this network devices. You can see at the bottom left of the corner there's a network devices available and then we have under this we are having this we have a third point is hubs all right so hubs you can select this pt hub right simply drag and drop i've already said in the previous video that packet tracer is a uh, like a drag and drop software so uh, i'll be connecting uh, some of the uh, pcs here we know that how to connect pcs so you can see the second point is end devices so just set up some pcs here right so I'm drag and dropping the five PCs. Okay, so this is my hub and these are my five PCs. So how to connect it? In the previous video, like when I was simulating the P2P network, uh, like we were having two PCs because the PCs were similar devices. So we made use of cross cable, but it is a different devices, the hub and PC. So we need to make use of straight through. So you have to click on connections, this uh, lightning uh, symbol, and then you have to select the third option okay this one and connect with the fast ethernet of your pc with the fast ethernet of hub similarly repeat this for all the all the four pcs as well fast ethernet one then from fast ethernet zero of this third pc to fast ethernet two of hub similarly uh, fast ethernet zero of fourth pc to the fast ethernet third of hub and last fast ethernet zero uh, of this four last PC to the fast Ethernet 4 port of your hub. So we have connected uh, the four, five devices, five PCs to a, a simple hub. And this is also a start topology. You can, uh, if you have, uh, if you have uh, like uh, gone through the uh, uh, like theoretical uh, 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 knowledge of th of this uh, networking thing, you must be aware of this fact that this is kind of a topology we are having in which we have arrangement of. Uh, like uh, uh, we have an arrangement available in the form of start topology where, uh, where everything every device is connected to a central device so we have a start topology available here as well so let's now uh, give the IP addresses to all the PCs you, you must be aware of the fact that how to give this IP addresses I've already have said in the last video as well so I'll be going with the same uh, same series class A 10.1 10.2 here desktop IP then 10.2 here okay so that there will be no confusion 10.3 here similarly 10.4 and 10.5 10.3 here 10.10.10.3 .10 give a tab subnet mask will come automatically here uh, repeat this so it will be 10.4 10.10.10.4 and last we need to give the IP address to the last PC as well which is 10.10.10.5 that's it so we can check via hovering your mouse over all the PCs it is 10.1 fine 
it is 10.2 fine it is 10.3 fine it is 10.4 fine and it is 10.5 fine so it means i have given the uh, ip addresses to all the pcs because hub doesn't have any address so we don't we do we need not to give any address to the hub right now what next we will be checking this thing now like whether the hub is broadcasting data or not so i'll be selecting this pdu right this one add simple pdu you can see this one click here okay and i'm sending the data from pc0 to pc4 okay i've sent now let's check this thing out in a simulation mode that what happened actually so you can see now we are currently in a real time environment we need to click on simulation you can see this uh, tab available go to here and please play the or uh, sorry press the play button okay so let me unplug this so that you can see so it is going to the hub first right let's see what happens after this you can see now it is broadcasting it is broadcasting you can see that there is a cross sign at at the pc1 pc2 pc3 because the the packet was not for these three pcs the packet was only for four pc right so now it is acknowledging you can see that why it is coming back because it's acknowledging here that that i have received your data pc4 is acknowledging back that i have received your data that's why you can see the right sign here the green uh, tick here but a uh, wrong uh, but this red cross because the data was not for pc1 pc2 and pc3 and one more thing i want to uh, add it here you can see that uh, we are making use of icmp as a protocol behind the scenes uh, so that uh, we all know that ip when we uh, just do the ping thing that the icmp protocol works behind the scenes right all right i hope guys uh, like uh, uh, you must have understood that how the hub works this is the like practical uh, a uh, little video uh, in which i've just talked about the uh, i just introduced the uh, hub to you and i've also have added up a little demonstration to to make you see how the hub works right rest i'll be covering up in the upcoming videos thanks for watching guys see you in next video